What's up everybody, it's Chespin and it's time for Chilling with Chespin episode, oh wait, let me check, oh, episode 6. Yeah, I totally knew that, totally didn't have to scroll down and see what episode we're up to. But anyway, today I'm just here with a kind of update video, I don't even know what I'm doing to be honest, I just kind of want to make a video for you guys. But, oh, I know one thing's for sure, I'm going to be going through my top 10 favorite Pokemon cards in my collection, well, I guess of all time. And then we're just going to, I don't know, maybe talk about a few things. So... First things first, let me know what you guys thought about the mixtape volume 2. That took so long to uh, produce, honestly. And will there be a mixtape? Will there be, sorry, a mixtape volume 3? I don't know. I've already made a few songs for it. So probably but that's going to be way in the future. So let me know what you guys thought about the mixtapes. Whoops. The mixtapes there. There's a mixtape volume 1 and 2. Because they were a whole bunch of fun to make. Just something a bit different. And let me just get this zooming right. There we go. Just something a bit different, hope you guys uh, enjoyed that. So, anyway, now it's time for me to go through Electric Yoshi's Top 10 Pokemon Cards of All Time. So let's get right into it. Um, why am I doing this? I don't really know, but anyway. To start off, we have Mewtwo EX. Is this a secret rare? No, it's not a secret rare, but it looks like one. Mewtwo EX from Evolutions. This is just a really cool looking card, and I just realized now that the lighting's kind of horrible for a Pokemon card video. And that's the back, so that would be number 10. Just looks really cool, I don't know. And then number 9, this one's not even in a top loader. Uh, Ditto VMAX, shiny. Did I open this one on YouTube? I don't think I did, but this card's just super cool. I love Ditto, especially the shiny version. And I just love the whole concept of Ditto being able to morph into any other Pokemon. And that's the back as well. They're all pretty mint, so I'll be showing the backs as well. So that would be number 9. And next up, we've got Charizard EX Full Art promo card from Generations. This card's actually gone up exceedingly in value uh, for whatever reason, but this is definitely a favorite in my collection. So there's a good look at Charizard. A lot of people love Charizard. Personally, I'm, I'm a decent fan of Charizard. So yeah, next up, we've got this Pikachu in a Rowlet costume, a Japanese promo card, which I actually got this when I went to Japan for free at the Pokemon Center. So uh, I just bought a whole bunch of plush, a whole bunch of stuff and I'm like, you know what? You can have this for free. So they gave me this for free as like a complimentary kind of gift. And this card is actually worth like, I don't know, 220 Australian dollars. So what's that about 160 US or something? I don't know, you can search it on eBay or do a price check for yourselves. But this card is just super cool. I love the little confetti in the background. And yeah, it's a Japanese card. So yes, I am including Japanese cards. Um, and that's probably the only one on the list. Next up, we have Charizard Hollow, the Holy Grail. Not exactly. This is the 2016 Evolutions version, which I believed I pulled right here on YouTube a couple of years back when I wasn't that big. Now I'm just a big, big boy on YouTube. But back then when I was a little boy, I pulled this. And this is just a super cool card. Let me just properly show off that holographic. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, I've got better photos of it. Um, I'll probably show now. But, uh, yeah, there's Charizard. This card has gone up so much in value. It's not even the OG base scent print. It's just a reprint version. Uh, released in Evolutions, that set itself has just got skyrocketed, man. Like, jeez, I didn't even like it that much back in the day. But super glad to have pulled this epic card. Uh, Charizard Hollow. So, yep, that would be number... I forgot. <laughs> what number is that? That's one, two, three... Four, five. I think that's number six. I don't know though, but maybe. Next up, we have first edition Ditto Holographic. Now this is a super cool card that I bought recently for like over a hundred dollars because first edition holographics are definitely not cheap. So here's a good look at that card. It's really cool and it's actually in pretty good shape as well, which is uh, there's a few nicks down there and maybe in the top left corner as well. But overall, it's excellent condition. And first set holographic from the Fossil set from 1999 or something, 1999, I think, Fossil came out. But yeah, first edition Ditto, that's like probably one of my most valuable cards and it's super, super awesome as well. Next up, we have a Crobat V Full Art. How cool is this card? I actually bought this card individually from eBay or something like that. Excellent condition. Um, just overall looks super cool. 
And this is the only reason I'm not opening up my Darkness Ablaze booster box. I'm keeping it sealed because this is the only card I really like from the set. I mean, what else is there? There's a few other cool cards, like obviously the Charizard VMAX that everyone's looking out for. But if, if I were to open that box, this would be the card I'd be hoping for. And I just bought it individually, so wouldn't have to worry about opening the box. And finally, at number three, this card is just like, oh my god, this card's beautiful. We have a Tornadus Hollow from Black and White. There are so many awesome holographics from Black and White, but this is just like one of them that encapsulates all the coolness. You can't even, you can kind of faintly see it there because the top loader kind of uh, ruins the holographicness of the card. But overall, just a really awesome card from Legendary Treasures. I'm a huge fan of Black and White and a huge fan of the Black and White holographic pattern. It's definitely my favorite of all time where the lines go across. I'll show a better example. Uh, afterwards when I'm doing some honorable mentions and second most favorite card is another card from black and white legendary treasures it's Mew EX4 how awesome does this card look that's just like take just take a second to sink this card in well not the back but look how cool this card is Mew EX4 super awesome that's number two and finally my favorite Pokemon card that I own is Reshiram Full Art from, yet again, Pokemon Black and White. I'm just trying to, like, angle this so nothing's in the way. There we go. It's kind of a better angle. Uh, Reshiram Full Art. This card is just super beautiful. It's probably, like, in the best shape out of all of my good cards. And I love Reshiram. So, that's it. That's my top 10 uh, favorite Pokemon cards that I own. L what the hell? Something just fell in there. Anyway, let's go up here to where Bombard's chilling. Uh, this, I don't know why I have this in a sleeve, but... I just really love this artwork, like look at that, that's just sick. That's definitely an honorable mention. Uh, honorable mentions here, PSA Gengar, not even worth that much. Uh, Eternatus VMAX we pulled here, a first edition non holo uh, ditto, uh, Fire Red Leaf Green Bulbasaur, a couple of Japanese cards and base set cards, uh, Sealed Charizard V from Champion's Path, a few EV promos, and these are some more black and white holo. So yeah, let me know what you think, let me know your favorite Pokemon card. Amongst all of these epic, epic cards. Oh my god, just looking at these, just too awesome, man. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.